listening to What is the Good News by the Del Mar Dons. Hey Dons, welcome back to What's the Good News. I'm your host, Eva. Congrats on making it through your first full week of school. Freshmen and sophomores, today is your day to pick up your books, so make sure you check your emails and check your time slot so you don't miss it. And now, here's Agios with the sports. Hey guys, Patrick with sports here. In local news, the Giants sweep the Diamondbacks in an amazing set and are now third in Pacific Division. The NBA draft recently happened, and on the other side of the country, New York Governor, Governor Cuomo, recently started allowing high school sports to be let back in. Now, in local news, the football team held a Chipotle fundraiser this Tuesday and are soon planning to have more, so make sure you attend all of those to support our school. On to Patrick with the weather. Thanks, Patrick. I'm Patrick with weather. Starting off today, Wednesday the 26th, we have a high of 88 and a low of 60 with a 10% chance of rain. It'll be partly cloudy all throughout this week. On the 27th, we have a high of 89 and a low of 63. On the 28th, that brings us a high of 93 and a low of 63. The 29th, we'll have a high of 90, a low of 61. The 30th, uh, we're going back down throughout the week. We'll have a high of 89 and a low of 63. We keep going down with 88 and 63. Then on Tuesday, we have a high of 87, a low of 64. And rounding out our week with Wednesday, we have a high of 89 and a low of 64. Now, there have been wildfires raging all throughout California. So if you know anybody affected by these fires, make sure you support them as best as possible. I'm, we're all looking out for you guys. Stay strong. On to Patrick with the joke of the week. Hey guys, it's Patrick with the joke of the week. Here it is. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was just too tired. Now on to Patrick with performing arts. Hey guys, Patrick Lockwood back with the performing arts announcements for this week. In world news, the UK has invested over $2 billion into their actor relief fund, while the US is lagging behind with only $44 million, which lots of actors and foundations say that isn't enough. On the Del Mar scale of things, the International Thespian Society has recently reformed and is looking for new th members. So, if you wish to unleash your thespian side, contact Kate Reinhardt or Sophie Sontag for more information. Now, on to Eva Wilbanks with a new segment called Teacher Talks. Thanks, Patrick. This week, we're starting a new segment called Talking with Teachers. Our first guest is Mr. Brinkley. Take it away, Mr. Brinkley. Oh, hello there. My name's Mr. Braithwaite. I teach U.S. History and Ethnic Studies at Del Mar, and I love it. It's great. Getting ready for this year was definitely a little, a little different, a little harder than normal for myself and my wonderful colleagues in the Social Studies Department. I think the key was really not to plan or prepare too much, because who knows what's going to happen, right? And they're really the main ingredient that is missing is your input and ideas. And so I think it's important starting off this year that we all have really good communication about what works and what doesn't work in distance learning. And that way we could best plan together. During COVID times, it's tough keeping busy. And there was a, a great new hobby that I picked up and I've been learning a lot about producing videos and making videos and creating them for my own brand new YouTube channel. And what's it about? Of course, it's about my favorite hobby, bikes. I'm not going to tell you the exact name of this YouTube channel. Not that it's a secret, not that it's inappropriate for school, but you know, I think I'm just going to keep that kind of to myself for now. Um, and we'll leave it, at, leave it at that. I've been listening to a lot of music too. That's something that's really helped me kind of keep it together during these strange times. I've been listening to a lot of 90s punk rock, like a lot of just really hardcore political punk rock uh, from the 90s, which is the kind of era that I grew up in. And oh, it's been making me feel great. It's been keeping me sane. I hope that you are doing good and that you're having a great start to the school year and I hope to talk in person with you very soon. Bye. Thanks Mr. Brakeley. And that's all for this week, Dawn. I'll see you next Wednesday.